Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, um, kumusta kayo? I pray na nasa kabuti kayong kalagayan. At uh, even though nasa lockdown tayo ngayon, eh, aking panalangin na lahat po kayo dyan ay uh, nasa mabuti. At um, really, I really praise and thank God sa pagkakataong ito na minsan pa tayo ay magkasama-sama. Uh, kahit hindi man sa uh, physical na katawan, pero uh, sa spirito ng Diyos na uh, nananatili sa atin ay sama-sama tayo. At um, for several weeks already, I canceled po ang ating uh, uh, church gatherings. And I really miss to have you here. No? At uh, po ipatuloy na nanalangin para sa pawag isa. Kumusta kayo? Kumusta ang inyong pananampalataya? Pananalangin? Quiet time? Nas, akin nalangin na uh, patuloy po kayong lumalago sa uh, inyong relasyon sa Panginoon. And let's take this opportunity no, na nasa bahay lang tayo, walang trabaho. Take, take natin yung opportunity na to, to really spend time with God. No? To really spend quality time with God. At uh, patuloy po tayo uh, sa, uh, sa ating pananampalataya and I pray na uh, dilipas din to. Apo, dilipas din to. At uh, dalangin ko na maraming maituro ang Panginoon sa buhay natin through uh, this phenomenon na nangyayari sa ating mundo. And uh, before we start, uh, I want us to pray. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, we praise and thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity that we have that we can study your word again, we can hear from you, Father God. And Lord, just bless your word, Father God. Please bless your word, not my word, Lord, like but your word will be spoken in our needs. I pray, Father God, that our hearts will be open, our minds will be open to receive your word. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if we have our Bible, let's open it, okay? The book of Luke, chapter 15, verse 24. It says here, For my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. You know what? God, God also has a lost and found department. Amen? God has a lost and and found department. Whoever was lost, he finds. It says in Luke chapter 15, verse 24, For my son, for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So once he was lost, but God did find him. God found his son. Now God has a lost and found department. Now, brethren, you have to lose something before you can find it. Amen? You have, you have to lose something before you can find it. Now, um, paano tayo maghahanap ng isang bagay o paano natin hahanapin ang isang bagay na nasa atin na? No? How can you find something that you already have? For example, paano, paano ka maghahanap ng mga bagay? Paano ka maghahanap ng pagkain? Eh, meron ka namang pagkain. Paano ka maghahanap ng bigas? Meron ka namang bigas. Paano, paano ka maghahanap ng, ng, ng tubig? Meron ka namang tubig. You, you will not find something that you have. Amen? You have to lose something before you can find it. Now, at one point sa buhay natin, we are lost. We are lost. No? We lose our relationship with God. Because of what? Because of sin. Because of sin, because of our sins, we are separated from God. And because we are separated from God, there is no relationship between us and God. Why? Because sin separated us 
from Him. Sin separated us from Him. Sin separated us from God. And my, my brothers and sisters in Christ, hindi po hahayaan ng Panginoon na magpatuloy tayo wala sa Kanyang pilit. At sa pangapanahong ito, maaaring yung ating isip ay ay nawawala dahil sa mga pangyayari sa mundong ito, pangyayari sa ating kapaligiran, uh, mga mga negative news na ating naririnig at uh, ang mga mga balita sa buong mundo na kinakaharap nating na pandemic. And maybe sometimes nawawala tayo, no? But God has a promise. He will find those who are lost. Amen. And um, 1725 to 1807, John Newton, okay, wrote what is probably one of the most popular hymns. Okay, so si John Newton wrote one of the most popular hymns. Mother was dying when he was seven years, seven years old, and at age eleven. Age 11, okay, John went to sea with his father. His life at sea was filled with wonderful scapes, vivid dreams, and a sailor's recklessness. Nambuhay siya sa dagat, lumaki siya sa dagat, at uh, naging captain siya ng slave ships. And maybe, uh, doon niya narinig yung, yung, yung melody ng Amazing Grace. You see, Titignan natin yung, yung Amazing Grace, Words by John Newton. Melody, ano, ano yun. It's maybe because yung melody ng kanta narinig niya sa uh, desperate cries of those slaves who are in the ship. Okay? At um, bago ito yung patuloy, pakinggan natin yung kanta ito. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but was blind but now I see amazing grace how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me That great 
beautiful song. And once I was once lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Luke 19.10, it says here, For the Son of Man is come to seek and save which was lost. The Son of Man came to seek and save which was lost. He came to save and to seek us. He came to save and to seek us. Now, maybe at this point in time, we are feeling lost. Right? We are feeling lost. And searching for the truth. We are searching for the truth. Maybe we are searching for the answer. Searching for the right place. No? At through all these happenings sa mundong ito, we are searching for the truth. Now, I remember last day, CNN interviewed Rick Warren. Pa, para tanungin siya kung ano ang masasabi niya da, sa, 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 sa pandemic na nangyayari sa mundo ito. Ano yung, yung preference niya sa nangyayari sa mundo ito. No? And people are searching for the truth. Ano ba, ano ba ang sinasabi ng, ng Biblia no? tungkol dito? And uh, last time, lumutang yung, uh, yung quarantine at um, merong mga verses sa Bible na, na nag-describe ng quarantine at yung mga people, yung mga tao na discover nila ang mga ito. Why? Because they are searching for the truth. Now, the question is, why are you searching for the truth? Why are you searching for the truth? Because you are lost. You don't know the truth. For the ones who, know, who knew the truth, they will not search for the truth because they knew it already. But for you who search for the truth, maybe you are lost. Maybe you are searching for the answer. Ang dami nating katanungan. dami nating tanong sa mga nangyayari sa punong ito. And we are searching for the answer. Or maybe we are searching for the right place. Um... Sa, sa panahon ngayon, no? Um, ang daming mga may sakit, ang daming ang daming mga mga na-admit sa hospital. And for them, hospital is the right place because they will be treated in the hospital. But the question is tayong mga mga makasalanan. With ano 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 ba ang right place para sa atin? We are searching for the right place. No? At um, ang lost parang para mga para mga tupa na walang pastol. They are lost. They don't know the right place. But if there is a pastor or there is a shepherd, okay, those sheep will know the right place because the shepherd will guide them into the right place. See? And if those sheep are lost, it means that they have no shepherd. And my brother in Christ, we need Jesus Christ, the great shepherd. No? We are searching for the, for the truth. We are searching for the answer. We are searching for the right place. Kanino natin ito makikita? Kanino natin ito makikita? 2 Corinthians 4, verse 3 to 4. It says here, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe, which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Now, brethren. What a good feeling to finally find what you have been looking for. Sa tagal-tagal nang tayo ay naghahanap ng katotohanan, naghahanap ng sagot, naghahanap ng tamang lugar kung saan tayo mamahinga, 
dahil sa confusion, sa takot, sa fear na nararamdaman natin sa mundong ito, there is no other good feeling to find what we have looking for. To be able to see clearly, to understand the truth, and to see the light. See, it says here, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not lest, which believes not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. If you think that you are lost, the gospel of Christ should shine upon you. God has found you. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the truth. It says in his verse, sa John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. He is the truth. He is the answer for all our questions. He is the answer for all our confusions in life. He is the answer for, for all our confusions in this world. And He is the right place. God's presence, Jesus Christ, the cross, is the right place for us. There is no other right place in this world but to be in the presence of our God, to be in the presence of Jesus Christ. There is no right place in this world rather to the place of the cross. Just come to the cross. Just come to the cross. And you will see, you will be able to see clearly. At some point sa buhay natin, we see fogs, napakalabo, ng, ng tinitignan natin yung future natin. Hindi natin makita dahil napakalabo. We don't understand we seek for answers and we did not get any answers. But remember this, if we are in God's hand, we will be able to see clearly. We will understand the truth because the truth is Jesus Christ and we will see the light. That's His promise. Bakit? Because He found you. Nahanap po tayo ng Panginoon. Nahanap tayo ng Panginoon. Now, Max Locado once said, says here, but here, but here the correlation with beauty and the beast. In the, in the fable, beauty and the beast, okay, the beauty kisses the beast, but in the Bible, the beauty does much more, okay, he became the beast so that the beast became the beauty. Jesus changed, changed places. Jesus changes places with us. We like Adam were under the course. We were under a course, but Jesus changed places with us and put himself under the curse. Galatians chapter 3, verse. Jesus changes places for us. He became the beast. He is the beauty. But He became the beast for us in order for us to be saved. When, when He found us, natagpuan niya tayo na devastated. Natagpuan niya tayo na napakadumi. Natagpuan niya tayo ng punong-punong ng kasalanan. At He became the beast in order for us to be a beauty. That's the love of our Christ. Mga kapatid, in these trying times, wala pong ibang karapat dapat nating nakita. Si Jesus lamang ang tanging daan, ang katotohanan at ang buhay. Walang sino mang makakapunta sa Ama kung hindi sa pangamagitan niya. There is no safest place in this world but in the hands of God. Friends, let's admit 
let's admit that we are a sinners. Let's admit, let's admit that we are sinners. We are sinners. Lahat po tayo nagkasala, lahat tayo nagkamali. Um, and many of us realize that walang magagawa yung lahat ng paghihirap natin. Walang magagawa yung mga inipo natin. So, in these trying times, nawala yung halaga ng pera. Right? Walang magagawa yung pera. Hindi madudugtungan ng pera yung buhay natin. Hindi mapapagaling ng pera yung sakit natin. No? Kahit anong pagsusumikap natin, wala. And because of that, na mga, na mga pagsisip natin sa mundong ito, maraming mga instances na nahuhulog tayo sa kasalanan. And friends, let's just admit that we are sinners. Wala akong matuwid sa atin. And there is no one righteous for, for we all have sin. We believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. Jesus died on the cross, cross and rose from the dead. He did that for you. He became the beast for us to become the beauty. We did not deserve that. But He died on the cross for our sins and defeated the grave. After three days, He rose again. After three days, He rose again. Just come to the cross, friends. Just come to the cross. You will find rest. You will find truth. You will find all the answers in life. You will be content and you will be satisfied. Just come to the cross. Just come to the cross. Accept Him as your Lord and personal Savior. Ask God to be the Lord in your life. And just grow that relationship that you have in Him. Read your Bible. Pray. Pray, pray, and you grow. As the songs that we always sang sa Sunday school, just pray every day, read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow. So friends, this is the message of God para sa atin. It's just amazing grace. No? na nahanap tayo ng Panginoon. Hindi natin hinanap ang Panginoon. Hindi natin natagpuan ang Panginoon. God found us. God found us. And friends, if you ask for the truth, if you ask for the answer, answers, if you ask for the safest place in this world right now, there, there is no such thing sa mundong ito. Pero sa presensya ng Panginoon, sa cross, sa paanaan ni Jesus na nagligtas, na humanap at nagbigay ng kanyang buhay para sa atin, matatagpuan natin. We will be satisfied. We will not go thirsty, we will not go hungry, but we hungry, we, but we hunger for His presence. We hunger for His presence. Kapag ka gutom tayo sa kanyang presensya, we always seek Him. We always seek Him. We always read His Word. We always pray. We, we, we always have this intimate time with Him. So, just come to the cross. Just come to the cross. That is the safest place in this world right now. Heaven and earth will pass away. But His love will never fail. His love will never end. Nagunaw man ang lahat ng mundo, maugus man tayo ng sakit. No? Takot, takot tayo sa sakit. That's why we are um, we, we are here sa mga bahay natin. Hindi tayo makalabas because our government mandated us na mag, 
Nag stay at home Because takot no? Takot na lumala At uh, marami sa atin na takot Friends Kung tayo ay nasa kamay ni Jesus Christ No one can snatch us from this Kung malaman tayo sa mundong ito Ang mahalaga hindi tayo mawala sa presensya ng Panginoon Mahalaga, hindi tayo mawawala sa persensya ng Panginoon. Salamat sa tara tayo matalangin. Father God in heaven, thank you for reminding us that the safest place in this world is to be in your presence. To be on the cross. Thank you Lord. Thank you for your word. It was spoken in our lives. Thank you, Father God. In Christ's name, Amen.